This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free. That's why sometimes I don't get to add the brand partner, because Jessica be tripping. Holy shit. What are y'all doing? Hey, hey, y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. Come on in, come on in. Let me set this one down a little bit. Hey, wifey. indeed but I'm just about done if it doesn't work this time fuck it right I'm gonna tell y'all one thing I'm hotter than a motherfucker yes it's breast cancer awareness month this whole month We don't got time. Instagram, bitch, fuck you. Yeah, I said it. Fuck you, yeah. Anyways, um, I was waiting on Instagram, but since it didn't work, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description. I'm going to put this down just a teeny bopper. Here we go. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the description because my bad. Hey, I see y'all. I had to um, start it because it wouldn't work the way I wanted it to, but. Whatever, I'm about to put it in the description. We're about to get it popping. So, I'm laying up front. See if I was able to do it. Y'all already know what time it is. Come in, come in. Sorry for taking so long. Whew. But let's get it popping. It's time for the Couch Chronicle. The couch Chronicle. Where there ain't no fucking limits. 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 Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 Central Time. You don't never want to miss a couch. Trust me, it ain't no fucking limits. I said none. Period. Okay. If y'all watching on Instagram, Facebook, they go share the vibe. I am high, I am high. 
this Monday, now I'm not going to lie, my morning started off a little bit rough. It started off a little bit rough because I was expecting to go to my appointment that I've been waiting for for a very long time. And come to find out they couldn't do the motherfucker. So, bitch, what? It puts me back and keeps me in pain a little bit longer, which I don't want to be in pain. Now, even though y'all see this beautiful face, smiling all the time, when I say the inside of me is like, because ah, I'm in so much pain all the time, I just, I'm able to fake it very well. Not because I want to be fake, but because I'm so used, I was so used to, excuse me, faking like I was okay, that it's hard to actually show that I'm not okay. Because I'm so used to acting as if I'm good, even though that's not the case. Um, and the reason why that happened was because every doctor I've went to, they have actually, you know, told me nothing is wrong with you, you good. Um, even in prison, they did that to me. My father did that to me. I broke my tailbone as a kid, and my dad beat me on it. He didn't take me to the doctor. I got an ass whooping to it. Um, can I see the light? So, you know, I went through a lot with my body, and I'm always hurting. So, um, I just got used to just being like, oh, I'm good, even though I'm really not. So, um, it just frustrates me. So, yeah, that's how my morning started off, but it actually ended up pretty good because, one, I got one of my good friends here. Um, two, um, you know, my wife, she always encourages me. Always, always, always. Hey. Always. Like, I could be having the worst day, and only reason why my day was going bad was because she was asleep. She couldn't encourage me before it got to getting in my head, myself getting in my head. Yeah, I was already mind fucking myself by the time she woke up that uh, it took her a couple, baby, it's going to be okay, before I was like, baby, it's going to be okay. So, here we are on the motherfucking couch. And another thing that, you know, brings me joy is being right here in front of you guys and um, anybody that's listening on Spotify and Pandora, being able to talk to you guys and give you guys, you know, um, you know my thoughts uh, and hear your thoughts. And, you know, we go through things together because I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And it ain't no fake shit on this bitch. Like, we really going through some shit together. Okay? This is the therapy that you never knew you needed. So, embrace it. Utilize it. Utilize me. Don't use me. I said utilize me, not use it. Eyes me. The book. Utilize me. Don't use me. Happy birthday to all you nasty ass Scorpios. You nasty motherfuckers couldn't wait till your season came up. Just so you could be extra nasty. But now let me tell you something. If you're not out there licking booty or getting your booty licked, don't claim the nasty status. Just say that you're a Scorpio. We get it. You just, you think you're a freak. Get it. We get it. But you don't got to do all of that. No. Unless you really being nasty. Okay, now, like I said, shout out to all you Scorpios. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I said, happy birthday, you nasty motherfuckers. Okay. Yeah, I know y'all probably like, me. uh-uh, she did not have to, yeah. I got to do that for you nasty motherfuckers. You feel me? Y'all looking like, yeah, that is how we sing happy birthday. Oh, y'all nasty. <laughs> but it's all good. I love y'all. Happy birthday to all the Scorpios that's watching. <laughs> And everybody, look, I'll be singing happy birthday until your season is over. Now, it's going to get even better. You never know what I might do the next time, what I might shake the next time. Because <laughs> it's, it's your time. And I will say this. Shout out to all the Tauruses because it's always our season. Okay, Taurus. Gang, 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 Y'all know I watch TikTok a little bit too much, don't I? Yeah, because, uh, you know what I'm saying? 
most of my friends on TikTok um, are either NPCs or the motherboard. Oh. Angel Cyborg. Cyborg. I love her. I love her. If you guys haven't already done so, check on your strong people. Right. Check on your people, people. If you fuck with somebody, you check on them. You let them know that you love them. You let them know that you're thinking about them because you don't want the day to go by. Something happens to them and then you just like, I can't believe I didn't reach out. I can't believe. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't. But listen, I'm telling you that you could still do it now. Don't let that time go by where you literally let your friends slip in between your fingers because you didn't reach out or follow your instincts, follow your gut, follow your gut. And the reason why I say follow your gut is because this weekend, um, I had a, um, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about being hired for media and I was shouting out Nathan, Nathan Underwood with, um, Unwired Records Studios. Um, I did an event for him this Friday and, um, he didn't show up. And I was like, shit, something is going on. Everybody was like, ah, ain't nothing going on. He fell asleep. I'm like, no, 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 no. One thing I know about Nathan is if he books something, he's going to do it. He's not going to not show up because he fell asleep. No, he's going to have 17,000 motherfucking alarm clocks set until he wake up before the time. I promise you. So... I was worried, and I'm looking like, yo, how come nobody else is worried? How come nobody else? Can I get in there? Can you? You bastard. I'm just like, how come nobody else is upset? And nobody was upset. Nobody was thinking nothing of it. They was like, oh, he's good. He probably... He probably really fell asleep. I was like, nah, I don't believe that. I was like, can somebody go over there and check on him? And they like, oh, he's there. His car is out there. He's just not answering the door. He probably sleeps. So now let me ask you this. Uh, when has somebody yeah. that's genuinely sleep? Yeah. I don't give a fuck how hard you sleep. If you hear somebody banging on your door, you're going to wake up. Uh, right? But he didn't. Didn't answer the door, nothing. And, and they not thinking it's suspicious, nothing. I'm like, bruh, like, I, it's not sitting right with me. It is not. I was worried the whole time. I was just like, yo, I cannot even think straight because I cannot get a hold of this man. I kept calling him, calling him, calling him, texting him. I'm talking about when I say I was worried, I was worried. Okay. So finally, um, two days later, I get a call from him. And this is why it's so important to check on your friends, your strong friends, your friends, any of your friends, whoever you fuck with, any, even if they're not your friend, if you fuck with them and you talk to them and they are your social friend, you check on them. I'm just thankful that I was one of the, the people that he called on the top of his list because I, I, I couldn't really function because I was just like, yo, it's something going on. It's not sitting right with me. I don't like that, you know? And I was just so worried. I was like, yo. And I was sending, like, positive vibes and energy. I was like, yo, if something is going on, I'm just really, really hoping that everything is going to be okay. And he hit me up. And so two days later, he finally hit me up. And I was like, fuck, man. So. I was thankful for that. But I was just, like, really, really scared. Because I'm like, yo, this is... This is my buddy. I don't want nothing happening to him. I don't want nothing happening to anybody that I know. I don't give a fuck if I'm not your friend or not. I don't want nothing happening to y'all. Shit, that shit makes my chest hurt, my stomach hurt, my anxiety go crazy. I don't want... Trust me when I say I don't want my anxiety going crazy. <laughs> so, check on your peoples and be for real about checking on them. If your instincts is telling you something, you listen to that. For real. Because your instincts is always right. It's always right. Even though it might seem like, nah, that can't be happening. Listen to your instincts. Trust me. Listen to your instincts. If y'all just now tuning in, it is the Couch Chronicles. 
And it ain't no fucking limits. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, CHA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles Dot No Limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram, Emma.com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. Okay? It is Breast Cancer Awareness on the couch. It's Breast Cancer Awareness all month, actually. So um, don't be surprised if you see me wearing pink. Don't be surprised if you see me wearing no bra. Don't be surprised if you see somebody come to the podcast and they're a guest and their titties are out. Don't be surprised because it's breast cancer awareness. And sometimes you got to be drastic to make people aware. Okay? So, don't be surprised. Let's get into another song. Y'all already know it. Let's get into it. Shout out to my homeboy, Lloyd Hey Weather. This is actually his song. I was featured on it. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. I have been checking on my strong friend. But my friend has not been answering. Bitch, I'm trying to the most Cause I'm sliding this Louis V coat Bitch, I ice on my neck, I'm on froze I'm on the wall, I'm in Serenity You know this pain in my heart, yeah Still thugging, I'm all in my zone Too bitchy, I'm cracking the coast Once I slide with this please, it go ghost Bitch, I'm flying the most Cause I'm sliding this Louis V coat Surprised that they don't wanna see me win it. I done cut off some family and some of friends. I know I changed since I got up out the pit, but for the better, I'm flying the most. Not surprised that they don't wanna see me win. I will cut off some family and some of friends. I know I changed since I got up out the pit, but for the better, I'm flying the most. Y'all just now tuning in. It's the 
Couch Chronicles and it ain't no fucking limits, okay? Now, shout out to Bishop. First of all, that's my dog. Bishop, if you're watching, everything has been good. If you're watching, I love you. Shout out to Bishop. Shout out to Happy Roots. Um, Yo, this weekend was beautiful. Um, I will be posting the video today. But um, this weekend, I went out with Bishop to pass out food to the homeless. He bought um, maybe 105 burgers to pass out. You know, so we passed them out around, you know, to different people that was homeless, um, to, di to different areas in Oklahoma City that I usually see a lot. So, you know, I'm, I drive around a lot because, number one, um, I like to promote myself. And sometimes when I promote myself, I use DoorDash to do it, you know. So um, why not make money and uh, promote my own self? So um, a lot of times when I'm doing that, I see a lot of different things um, as I'm DoorDashing. So um, I see a lot of homeless people. Sometimes I see homeless people that's so bold that they'll stand in front of you in the drive through line. They won't even let you drive past them without you giving them change. Like, I've seen it. It gets that deep. So, you know, I did pretty much the footwork when it comes to figuring out where we need to go and um, ordering um, all the burgers because, um, you know, finding the best deals. So, in the video, you'll hear him thanking me a lot, which he didn't never have to thank me. Bishop, I love you. You never have to thank me, ever. Anything I do, I do it out the kindness of my heart. Um, I love people, period. Um, sometimes people be like, you know, you just never know. Some people say I'm the nicest motherfucker in the world. And maybe one or two people might say that I'm rude. But I'm going to tell you this, and it's no excuse. But anybody that has a chronic illness or anybody that is in pain a lot, please, if one day they're me, please know this. It's not intentional. They are in pain. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. You know, it's it's like that sometimes. We're not always the happiest people when we're in 24-7 pain. 24-7-32-6 to be exact. And if you don't know how long that is, that's a long fucking time. So a lot of times when people are going through stuff like that, they, like I said, they not the nicest. But... If you ever catch me on them type of days, I'm sorry. I love people. I love to help. Genuinely, I love to help. So, I literally did that out of the kindness of my heart. Um, so, like I said, you don't have to thank me. I enjoyed myself. Um, I had so much fun. I can't wait until the next one. Um, this will not be the last time that we will be doing it. Um, and the couch will be involved. In everything that Bishop does. If Bishop is doing it, I'm, I'm doing it. Like, I'm going. It's, it, it's needed. It's needed. And another thing that I've noticed that the homeless need, especially right now, um, is coats, gloves, you know, socks, blankets. So if anybody that's in Oklahoma City or in the, um, or in the area that's close to it and you would like to donate... You know, hats, coats, jackets, gloves, socks, blankets. Please DM me. Please. Because when we pass out that those burgers and water and, and whatever we pass out, I want to be able to pass out, like, if I see somebody that needs a coat, I want to be able to say, hey, we got coats in the trunk, too. Hey, we got gloves in the trunk. Hey, we got socks. Hey, we got blankets. I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to have that. So if you have any any extra, you know, old and good condition um, jackets, coats, blankets, socks that you would like to um, donate to the homeless, please DM me. I will get I will take it out to them myself. But um, please, if you would like to donate, um, please hit me up. OK. Um, let I do want to talk about something because um, I'm confused. So this weekend, um. I kind of, not that I got into it with somebody, but um, I kind of, you know, got into like a back and forth with somebody because number one, let me just say this. Shout out to all the artists that do tune in. I do need to say this though. Um, 
if you are an artist that books yourself to different shows, check me out. If you're an artist that books yourself out to different shows, you are your manager at this point. You are your promotion team at this point. You are your everything. If you're not dependent on anybody else to do this and you are doing this yourself, listen to me. You know your music. You know it. You know it more than anybody on this whole entire earth. So you should know your crowd. You should know your crowd. You should know who your music is going to touch and who it's not going to touch. Where your music belongs and where it doesn't belong. If you singing about um, wading in the water, your shit don't go in no motherfucking strip club. It don't. It go in a church. If your song is saying, I'm going to bust that pussy open and let a motherfucking lick my booty hole and put my toe in they motherfucking nose, then yes, you need to go on with Suki. Suki Yami. That's the word you need to go. That's perfect for you. If your song is saying, shoot him up, motherfucking bang, bang, hit a nigga in his brain, brain, yes, 50 Cent, all of them, that's where you need to go. But don't go in no church being like, bust that pussy up and then I tell her bring it back. Bust that, hallelujah, bust that pussy open. No, we not doing that. Do that make do that even make sense? Do it? No, because you're not gonna go that because you need to know your crowd. You need to know your crowd. You know busting that pussy open and telling them bring it back is not about to go in no church. You know pound town, round round, round down with the brown, brown pussy round. Listen, that don't go in no fucking school. It don't. I don't give a fuck if they paying you or not. You need to take that responsibility and be like, yo. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying in this song? Like, even if there's a clean version, do you know what influence this is going to take put on these kids? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm not singing it again because they don't need to be singing it in the church. <laughs> But seriously, like, come on now. We, we got to take some responsibility at some fucking point. You feel me? <laughs> we got to be able to take responsibility at some point. And if we are our own self-booker, manager, all of that, of course, make sure you know your crowd. Because if you don't know your crowd, you're going to end up feeling like you had a bad show. You're going to feel like, damn, ain't nobody fuck with me. You're going to kind of feel a little bit discouraged, but no. The only thing you need to be discouraged in is yourself as far as picking your crowd. Not because you did your fucking thing on that stage and they didn't respond the way you thought they was going to respond. They didn't respond the way you thought they was going to respond because your music is not matching the crowd. They want to hear, if they want to go see Sukiyana, you don't think they want to hear a motherfucker switching? He eat my ass and switch, switch, switch. They want to hear that. They don't want to hear, yeah, I did my time in the pen and these niggas went. I sent my son. They don't want to hear that. They don't. Just keep it real. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, how real you think you sound on that track. They don't want to hear that. What they want to hear is a man switching, getting his ass ate by his woman. Because those same women and men that's in that crowd, they get their ass ate. And your music don't match that, baby. Okay? So just know your crowd. Know your crowd. Know thy crowd. And sometimes you need to know your thy, thy people. Do not give a fuck about nothing except the thing. Nothing except the thing. Oh, oh, I keep doing that. Listen, um, 
Thank you. Shout out to you. Uh, first of all, please don't be offended when I do the little thing. When I do the little accents, I just be playing around because I need to stop playing. I'm going to stop. It's just so fun. But yeah, I'm going to stop. But listen, know your crowd. And sometimes, don't expect the DJ to be like, yo, um, your music go with this crowd. You good. Pay me. No. Expect them to only say pay me. They not going to do no research. They don't give a fuck. They want to get paid. And shout out to the DJs that's really giving a fuck about these artists and that give a fuck about if they take their money or not. Um, and if they doing the right thing, for real, because there's DJs out there that don't give a motherfuck. There's DJs that know that your music is for a child. No, for real. There's people like A B C easy as one, and they t- and you asking yo, um, can I pay you to get on this on this show? Hell yeah. Matter of fact, give me seven hundred dollars and I'm gonna give you like five minutes. Then you get to the show. And you like, A, B, C. Everybody else was like, easy as we want. Singing with you. Everything was good at first. No, it was. Then you, A, B, C. And then all of a sudden, the crowd is looking at you like. And you look down into the crowd and you like, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. They not fucking with me. That's because, like I said, they want to hear how a booty hole is getting paid. Not no A, B, C, one, two, fucking three. I don't know what y'all was thinking, but let's get it together, baby. And this is, res- this, listen, listen, I'm saying this with all the respect. I promise you, I'm saying this with all the respect. I want you to be great. <laughs> I want you to be great. And the way you can be great is knowing your crowd. Hello, goddess. Knowing your crowd. Knowing where to perform your music. Seriously, that helps in growing your audience. That helps in growing your sales. I'm just saying. This is the Couch Chronicles and it ain't no fucking limits. Let's jump right into another song. Y'all, this next one that I'm about to play is going to be on my next album. My album is dropping in January. It's going to be called Elevate. I hope y'all enjoy this one. It's called Born For This. Because I am born for this shit. It may not seem like I am. Well, it do. I'm born for this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start this one off a little bit low. And then I'm gonna come off a little high. And yeah. I know somebody gonna feel me on this motherfucker. It's how God did why. It's weird, bitch. And I'm about to fuck it up. Uh, yeah. I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see that they be watching. But they really not supporting shit. But it's okay, cause I'ma make a way. I'ma make a way. I'd have been down for the count with all them lonely days. So I'm used to gray skies and rainy days. And I know some people tired of what I'm spitting, but I spit it till I fade away. Promise I'd have some crazy days. My life's a movie, you can see it. No commercials or no lazy ways. It's take the life that I chose, but I want more for it. The only reason why I handle it is cause I'm chose for it. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. I'm just saying. That's the only reason why the fuck I can handle this shit. Uh-huh. Oh, I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see that they be watching. And I see that they be watching, but they, but they really not supporting shit. I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see that they be watching. But they really not supporting shit. Man. My name still rings bell, so I am a problem. If you do not come correct, just don't bother. I will not stop, I'ma guess that's the options. <laughs> For real though. 
that's the motherfucking options. I'm all gassing off motherfucking brakes. Yeah, cause it's the life for me. Uh huh. I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see that they be watching. They be watching, but they But they really not supporting shit. I was born for this. I made it through the storm for this. And I always wanted more like this. And I see that they be watching. They be watching, but they But they really not supporting shit. support me <laughs> on facebook you can send stars um on instagram you can send um gifts um t-h-a couch on facebook couch chronicles dot no limits on instagram or you can cash at paypal or chime t-h-a real j-a-n-e-l-l like i said it's never mandatory but it's always appreciated thank you so oh that means a lot thank you listen my whole album i was playing it for my friend the other day she was like, baby, when this album come out, she was crying off the intro. That's why I said my new album is about to really rock some motherfuckers' souls. Like, I'm telling you, like, motherfuckers is about to be crying when they hear this shit. And I was really just saying that. Excuse me. And my friend, she hard. Listen, we didn't did our prison time together. When I say she hard, like, she, like, sometimes guys be scared. You know, to talk to her. Because she really come off like with this hard demeanor. So to see her cry, I was like, oh my gosh. I got a motherfucking hit. And you know what? I am going to play it for y'all. And I really wasn't going to do it. And I don't have it um, actually pulled up. I got to go back and, um, and look. But I did find it just now. But, um... I'm going to play it for y'all. This is going to be the intro to my new album. And then um, I'll finish up with... Actually, let me... I, I do want to say this. One, today's National Nut Day. So if you haven't got your nuts today, then you still have time because every day for me <laughs> is National Nut Day. And I don't mean... Nut Day. I don't mean... Nut Day. I mean... Brazilian Nuts. Pecans, macadamia nuts. Today is National Nut Day. <laughs> We're going to get into this next song. <laughs> so this next song is also going to be on my album. My album is coming out in January. It's called Elevate. <laughs> this song is called Cloudy Days. It's the intro to my to my album. And I really, like I said, I'm trying to catch y'all out the gate. When you hear this, I really, really, really want somebody to be able to feel it. You feel me? And um, you're going to see why. 
So this is from my album that's coming out in January. This is called Cloudy Days. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button, Instagram, Facebook, Vigo, share the live. to release the album i got so much in store for y'all on that album like i cannot wait like that's two songs that y'all heard that's gonna be on the album and shout out to everybody that inspired me shout out to my wife shout out to mav and made we got deep beats because i do have a few of his beats on my uh, album shout out to youtube um because i do get some of my beats off youtube and um also, shout out to all the engineers and um, producers that's out there. Like, y'all doing y'all motherfucking thing. For real. For real. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to drop that. I can't wait for you guys to hear the whole album and experience, you know. You'll be able to feel my emotions through my music. You know, you'll be able to experience what I went through. Um, you know, because sometimes it might seem like I'm singing... You know about a breakup or about a and it's really not that it's i'm in a lot of pain and it's not emotionally like because somebody broke my heart it's because my family broke my heart you know it's because oh my makeup is too cute to be crying huh <laughs> but you know my family really broke my heart we was really tight and uh, I'm going to just keep my eyes low. You know, we was really tight. You know, and it didn't work out. Like a relationship. And um, a lot of it was because they didn't and don't know who I am. You know, um, because if you know who I am, then you know if I say something, I mean it. You know that if 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 I tell you that I love you, then I mean it. And um, when I decided to marry my wife, they basically got rid of me. And um, it was as if our relationship was nothing. <coughs> it was as if I was never their daughter. You know, when I was little, I used to think, damn, did they, did I get switched at birth? Like, do I really belong to them? Um, so, 
No. No. I've never played a joke. At all. We got married twice. We got married in April. And it wasn't... Oh, I know. I know. See, this is why I'm not even tripping. Because my family is my prison family. And my family is y'all. Like, the people that showed up to my wedding was my prison family. That's who showed up. But as far as what you said, Mav, it says you be playing a joke and not tell anybody it was a joke. No, here's the thing is I originally went to my friend's wedding and anybody that knows me, they know I'm like, and if anybody that's been keeping up with the podcast, then they know. I said that I was going up there to stop a wedding. I did not expect to get married that day, but I did get married that day. If I'm telling you that I'm serious, and you are taking it as I'm joking, then guess what? You're the joke. And the joke is on you. Because I am very happy. I married my best fucking friend. Like, I knew when I was in prison that she was going to be my wife as soon as she walked on the yard. I looked at her, I was like, that's my wife. (laughs) I knew it. I knew it. And it just so happened to be my wife. But... Thank you. I love you. You know, it just really hurt me because my family, like my sister, my mom, we have like, we what well, we had, like the girls club. Yeah, I know I be doing that, but I don't, I don't let my jokes go on too long to where, like, if I'm really joking, I'm not going to let it last three and four days, especially no months. Trust me. I'm going to tell you. I do play a lot. But I'm going to, if I'm serious about something and I'm like, bro, like, why the fuck are you not listening? If I'm cussing at you at that point, then you, you are the one that want to make it a joke. I'm not. So. <laughs> but, it, you know, it just was, it was surprising to me. But I've, I've said this since the beginning of the year. For anybody that knows and anybody that's been keeping up with the podcast, this year is about true change and elevation. This year you will be the this year will shake up so many foundations. I'm talking about people that you never imagined that you would not be friends with or not be associated with. And sometimes that might be family. Seriously, moms will be fighting with mom with uh daughters. Re- uh relationships will start ceasing. Seriously, and and that's what happened to a lot of people this year. And, and if I'm lying, I'm dying. I said it in the beginning of the year. And we're already almost to the end. Yes, even family, I'm telling you. Like, people that in your family that you literally would have never, never thought. And it happens. It happens. It's nothing to be upset about. No. No, you just live your life. And if you decide, if they decide to come back into your life, or you decide to go back in theirs, and you decide to accept it, then that's on you. But protect your energy at all costs. At all times. Protect your energy. Because nobody is worth. Yeah, because when you don't protect your energy, then your health starts getting fucked up. It does. If anybody don't, if you don't believe that, then try. Let somebody fuck your energy up, and I bet you're going to start getting sick. Because your body's not going to want to fight. Because it's, it's fighting other shit. <laughs> it's trying to push energy out that you're not even pushing out. So you have to protect your energy. Stay healthy. To stay healthy is by protecting your energy as well. You just got to. Yes. Mental health and physical health. Yes, it will get fucked up. You, it, you have to have to have to protect yourself protect your energy protect your heart you don't deserve to be hurt talked about in front of your face just because they family disrespected just because you fit just because it's your mom doesn't mean that she can call you a fucking bitch just because it's your dad doesn't mean that he can be like oh you you looking fat today or or being disrespectful or just because y'all family does not mean that they can be rude and disrespectful to you and get a pass. 
No. Mm -mm. No, you don't get a pass just because you family and just to be disrespectful. No. Sometimes they use that to their advantage and, and be extra disrespectful because they know that you're not going to disrespect them. They know that you're going to respect them, respect your family, respect your parents. But, but everybody misses the parents. Do not provoke your children. Everybody misses that. <laughs> how does that get? How does that? Po how does that pass you? You you can only go so far. I'm gonna tell you that. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, the disrespect. Yeah, like I can I can respect you to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. But once you start disrespecting me, it's like okay, and I'll give you a chance. Right. But like. They get to a point where they take advantage of that. Right. Now imagine this. Let me let me give y'all a scenario. Imagine that you left your kids with your mother, right? And you didn't say, hey, mom, watch the kids, and if they get out of line, you whoop they ass like they was me. And you got back, and your mom whooped your kids with an extension cord to the point where their legs was tore up, hands, because they were trying to guard their ass and their legs, what would you do? How would you feel? And they was like, well, I raised you. I mean, what? why can't I beat your kid? Because it's a respect thing. But they thought because they're your parents that they can just do that and you wasn't going to be like, yeah, I'm going to beat my own kids. And you wasn't going to be, right. And especially if you don't beat your own kids. <clears throat> and your parents was like, well, I raised you. The fuck? I'm going to beat your kid if I want to beat your kid. Like, for real. Let me see. I'm like, okay. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Do not. I don't give a fuck if they're your family or not. If you don't beat your kids and then your, you left your kids with your parents and your parents beat your kids, no, the fuck not. We're not doing that. No. Mm-mm. Family do not get passes just because they're your family to disrespect you and to, to drain you of your energy. Because a lot of times when people in your family are miserable, they don't mind making your ass miserable with them. Oh, that's so true. They do not. They don't mind. You family. You ain't gonna argue it. You the only one that's Matter of fact, the only ones that they're going to do that to is they family because they're not going to go nowhere. They're not going to argue with them. Hey, love. They're not going to argue with them. They're not because they family. So they get a pass automatically. No. No. It comes a time where even a, a, a book of passes run out of passes. I don't give a fuck how many you ordered. Even that last one. Got a last fucking page. You know where that little, that, that thick ass glue is and, and all you see is the glue sticking up? So, so when you done with that and you ain't even got no more, they ain't even got no more in stock for months, then what? Oh no. At, at some point, they gotta be running out of passes. It can't be passes until you die. Fuck that. That's toxic. That's toxic as fuck. It is. It is. Like, and and we allow it. Especially when it's family. We allow the toxicity. And don't realize. But guess what? All the ones that, in my age bracket, that went through that with their family, that let their family keep getting all these passes, and even the ones that still doing it now, I don't believe that you've done it yet, but I know you need counseling. We all do. Oh my God, thank you so much. Room, the fuck? Yes. Hey, let me tell y'all something. If y'all don't know what that room meant, somebody sent me a car on Big O. The fuck? Yeah, that means room. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. I appreciate you. I think that was my first gift. Like, 
as the couch. I've had it because this used to be a different page, but I've had it as my regular page, but this is my first time with this couch. Wow. So, yeah, listen. You don't let your family drain you, take your energy, and continue to do that, and, and you keep giving them passes. At some point, you got to stand your ground. You know, you have to be who they raise you to be. They raise you to stand up for yourself, didn't they? But did they did they say stand up to them? But when you stand up to them, you like, damn, hold on. You sound like kind of constricted, like. They said stand for what you believe in. And I don't believe that I need to be on punishment. And I'm standing up for what I believe in, but I got beat. Okay. Stand up for what I believe in, but I'm older now. And I don't believe in beating my kids. But I left them in your in your care. And you beat them. Hmm. Okay. Is this not making sense again? But we allow it. Because it's family. There's some people that's actually waking up and realizing that what their family made them go through and took them through literally caused a lot of PTSD, anxiety, you know, it, a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma that they have to deal with now as an adult. Some of us now are in counseling and the counselors are like, yo, if you know, uh, this is dating back to your childhood and um Come on. I'm just saying, y'all, it's the Couch Chronicles and there ain't no fucking limits. If you're just now tuning in, I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, THA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. -L. I'm going to get into a song and I do want to ask a question. Because I'm a little confused. Um, the other day, remember I was telling y'all about the, you know, picking your crowd and all of that. Well, I was talking about that online. And a young lady got on there and she said, apple snake. Like the emoji, apple and then snake. Let me get into another song because I need y'all to tell me what the fuck that means. is amazing i think about you every day and night if it ain't you then it ain't my type baby the truth i ain't gonna lie i'm addicted cause i'm so high off you i'm chasing chasing i'm chasing you i'm wasted 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 off you i've been sipping sipping when i'm off that you got me tipsy i'm hella buzz when i'm off that you everything spinning everything blurry when i'm off that you Everything litty, everything pretty when I'm off that you ooh, 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 Patrolling on the hitty, I really ain't picky Long as it's you ooh, 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 ooh. Purple rain drops in Manhattan Got me feeling kinda old fashioned Tequila sunrise in the Hamptons Patrol me in Boston, Spanish I really don't think I can manage I know if I'm with you, then I ain't gon' drop If I'm off you, then I ain't gon' lie This is how I feel when angels fly Too much of you with the answer I hate to say it, baby, you a cancer But you made me feel so romantic Got me head straight to the dance floor I feel like I'ma be here all night When I'm with you, everything alright Cause you made me feel so warm inside I'm addicted cause I'm so high up you I'm chasing, chasing, I'm chasing you. I'm wasted, wasted, wasted off you. I've been sipping, sipping when I'm off that you. Got me tipsy, I'm hella buzz when I'm off that you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everything spinning, everything blurry when I'm off that you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everything litty, everything pretty when I'm off that you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Patron on the hitty. I really ain't picky. Long as a shoe. Hoo, 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 hoo. Period. The fuck? Okay, so for those that don't know, sometimes you'll hear music on a podcast that you'll never hear anywhere else. But you can always enjoy it right here on the couch. All you got to do is tune in. Keep your post notifications on alert. That way you never miss anything. Now, I know y'all probably like, damn, she keep burping. But listen, y'all didn't hear that one, did you? I hope not. Um, first of all, shout out to uh, May Liquor Store. It's called May Liquor Store, I think. All you got to do is type in May Liquor Store. It's going to come up. Even if it say May Ave Liquor Store or whatever. Anyways, you know who you are. They keep me good. You feel me? And I've been on this IPA kick. I don't drink hard liquor, but I do drink beer. But I've been on this IPA kick. And so this one is a hazy IPA, for those that don't know. And it's very good. Um, it's independently handcrafted. It's 6.5% for those that, you know, keep up with the percentage. Um, I do. This one, like I said, is very good. It's very smooth. I like the ones that kind of have like a, that have like a um, grapefruit, orange type of taste. So thank you so much. So this one kind of tastes a little bit like, I don't know if anybody's familiar with, and this one is an Oklahoma brewed one. Um, but it has like a grapefruit type of taste and it's really crispy. And even the aftertaste is like a mm, crisp. <laughs> so, so I had to let y'all know that. Mm. Anyways, let's get into this apple snake. The fuck? What does it mean? I need somebody to tell me because all I'm doing was telling the girl about, you know, picking your crowd, knowing your crowd. And she said, apple snake have a good day or something like and i say well you know what apple snake i called her head back like but i still don't know what it means like apple snake the fuck can i just start saying that to people what are they gonna think i'm eve what are they gonna think does is that what that means though does anybody can somebody tell me what apple the emoji apple and then a snake i need to know like if somebody is using that as an insult i want to know like what it means. Fill, fill me in. Because I'm lost in the sauce. Am I just getting old? I think I'm just getting old. I then, don't know what that shit means. Right. See, then you getting old too. We got to be getting old. Can somebody tell me what that means? We'll come back to that. I'll leave y'all alone. But apple snake. I'm just saying. I'll take that as disrespect. Of course. Because the fuck. Bitch. We all know what a snake is. And I don't is. call anybody a bitch, but I did nine years in the penitentiary. Motherfucker, I don't do no snitching. Ain't no motherfucking telling. The fuck? I ain't even tell nobody what time it was, motherfucker, when they asked me. The fuck is you talking about? The fuck? The what? <laughs> hey, that's what's up. Love you, cousin. I, I don't mind if I'm getting old in time. I just need to know what it means because... Baby, I'll clown you too because I got a mouth on me and I will. I don't got to say no motherfucking apple snake. I'm going to say some real ass fucking shit. Don't play with me. But I do want to know what apple snake means. Like, I'll come back to it, but please let me know what apple snake means. Um, I don't know if anybody in Oklahoma know, noticed this yet but or noticed this at all. Um, did anybody notice that Tulsa has been in the news a lot lately? Or anybody that keeps up with the news, because I'm sure it's over, um, it might even be in the world news, like, everywhere, or people can see it. I but I, about Tulsa. Yeah, and I noticed that they've been in the, in the news time. a lot. Yeah, but, man, it's just, it's, it, lately, I have not seen Tulsa in the news this much lately. It's just been, it's weird to me to see it this many times, and... I'm like, yeah, something. Y'all trying to distract us from something? And it must be something that's going on in Oklahoma as a whole. And the reason why I say that is because, come on now. Like, y'all specifically keep naming Tulsa. It's just weird. Like, I don't know if anybody that watches is a conspiracy theorist or, you know, believes in the Mandela effect or... 
but whatever. Judge me not. But if you do, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> the fuck? Um, news you can use from the couch. Now, four zodiac signs that will thrive during Scorpio seasons besides Scorpios. So, pay attention because this sign might be yours. Pisces, Cancers, Virgos, and Capricorns. Even though y'all cap a lot, but. I'm just giving y'all some news you can use from the couch. Um, and I thought it was really interesting, but um, I don't doubt it. You know, um, a lot of times whenever I read things from the horoscope, um, it's usually right. And people be like, oh my God, what you told me on the couch about my horoscope became true and da 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 da. And, um, you know, I, I look for these things and, um, you know, I, I, I even copy links just in case. Hey, I see you, Capricorn. I see you, Virgo. So um, I keep track of these things because I, I really be interested in this. And, and not that I'm a big Zodiac freak. And just, you know what I'm saying? Because there's people that be like, what's your Zodiac sign? I don't even say what's your Zodiac sign. I'd be like, you're um, such and such. And either they say yes or they'd be like, no, that's not it. But a lot of times they'd be like, what the fuck? How did you know that? And I, if you guys have been tuning into the couch, you've witnessed it on the couch a few times. But um, I don't know. I just have this... Uh, this uh, astrology mag, like something that, I don't know, I could look at somebody and be like, oh, you are, but I can't like tell you over the live. I could see you and, and talk to you and be talking to you in front of your face and I'd be like, oh shit, you were, and they'd be like, oh damn, how did you know that? But I'm not a, I'm not really into that though. I just, sometimes I just really be knowing like it just come out and I promise you I don't be trying to make it come out, but it just, but no, I'm not a, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, that's fucked up. They talking about she an apple snake. <laughs> Mav talking about she an apple snake. Uh-uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> okay, the fuck? Right, zodiac discernment. Exactly. So, I have a zodiac discernment, and I don't even know how it happens, but it does. But I really do be sometimes looking it up. And I say it on the couch, really, just to see if anybody be like, nigga, that shit did not come true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's why I be saying it. But I really be looking at it. Because I really be like, damn, I wonder if it do. And a lot of times when I say it on the couch, it really does. So that's pretty dope. Now, I always say this name wrong. I'm going to say it wrong today again. And the reason why I say it like this is because it sounds better coming off my tongue for me. And I don't care. Um, but, um, Mediterranean. <laughs> Mediterranean. Yes, Mediterranean. Same thing. To me. <laughs> Same I, thing. But I used to say it that way, too. It feels lot. good, don't it? Mediterranean. Mediterranean. <laughs> I used to say Mediterranean or something like that. Mediterranean. Right. I and even that one. <laughs> Mediterranean. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the part, the Mediterranean. Like, that. <laughs> and I know. And I know I'm completely wrong. Matter of fact, my wife corrects me every fucking time. She be like, baby, you got to start saying it right before people think that you really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, baby, they know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, if you start a diet that is Mediterranean, okay? If you start a diet like that, they are saying that it is actually linked to, the diet is linked to um, reducing and preventing PTSD. So for those that um, suffer from PTSD and you look for different natural things to do, you know, um, to help yourself instead of taking pills, because a lot of us don't like to take pills. We like to either get high or take shrooms. And shrooms is safer than even smoking weed, so FYI. Um, a lot of us don't like to take pills. Like me, myself, I hate them. I hate them. 
I'm sad that I got to wake up every day and take it from my leg and my whole left side. But, you know, um, good old Robbie has been getting me through. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, um, just the pill period is like, ugh. I don't know why I'm going to take no pill. So to try something natural and find something natural that can help something that you need help with, why not try it? So um, I dare you to try um, a Mediterranean diet and see if it helps your PTSD. You know, if you suffer from PTSD, especially if it's really, really strong, your PTSD, you know, I, I dare you to try it and see if it works. If it does, let me know that the study was right. You know, I want to know and kind of, I would maybe document it, you know, just to get some documentation and, you know. Because if you can see a difference, then you can see a difference on tape. Why not? So, I'm just saying. Got some news you can use from the couch. Also, more news you can use from the couch. Um, did anybody see um, that Google and Apple disabled the map function in Israel because of the um, invasion that looms? Now, it's really... Uh, that's oof. they basically trying to put their foot down. That's them like that's they that's them putting their foot down. It is, it is. Um, Hamas, which is the U, which the U.S. recognizes as a terrorist organization, launched an attack on Israel on October the seventh, and they killed thousands of Israelites. And it resulted in around 200 more being taken hostage and trans transported back to Gaza Strip. Now, regardless if the U.S. looks at them as terrorists and um, them launching an attack, you know, my heart goes out to every life that was lost. Um, and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And... Um, and as we're speaking on the lives that were lost, I do want to give a moment of silence um, for any life that was lost um, during that attack and um, any life that was lost, um, you know, from breast cancer. Um, just any life that was lost, period. I like to do a moment of silence because one, we don't do it anymore. You know, um, I don't see it done anymore. Um, and I always, you know, try to do it on the couch. Especially, you know, all the time, shit. That's what I am. You know, we used to do it in school when I was growing up. And um, it brought, a, you know, a peace and a, a calmness to me. And um, it does still to this day. So I'm always going to do it on the couch. So don't be surprised if you see me taking a moment of silence for anybody that um, passed away. Um, I got two more things to say and then I'm going to wrap it up. One, did anybody read the story of the woman who drank lemonade from Panera Bread and died? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is. Imagine you're like, you know what? <clears throat> I'm thirsty as fuck. Ain't no. Okay, I see a Panera Bread. Let me just go to Panera Bread and go drink this <sighs> whatever they got. I usually get like, I don't like, lim I don't like tea, and I don't like soda. Let me just get a lemonade. Can I get a lemonade? Drink the lemonade and die. And the reason being is because their lemonade contains more caffeine than Red Bull and Monster put together. Ain't that crazy? Mm. Red Bull and Monster put together. So those of you guys that have been struggling to stay up, you want to go snort some fucking cocaine? Motherfucker, go get you some lemonade from Panera Bread. Mm. 
You better go get you some lemonade. You better go get you a jug of that shit. Because it's got so much caffeine in that motherfucker, it's going to kill you. I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to kill you because, um, excuse me, um, the young lady did have a heart condition. But I'm sure she did not expect or know that this lemonade had that much caffeine in it. She was thinking she was just getting a regular lemonade. She didn't think she was getting a lemon dye. No. Mm -mm. That's not what she was expecting. So, um, my heart goes out to her family. And, yo, it just, the news you can use part of that is, if you're looking for some caffeine, Panera Bread got you covered. Um, now I always see every year a video of Walmart, you know, going viral of people outraged that they are throwing away so much frozen items and, um, you know, different items, food items, you know, and, um, every year I just wonder like, why they don't just donate it? But, you know, then again, I think Walmart don't want to get sued. The reason why they're throwing out these meats, vegetables, and other food products is because they're either over-expired or somebody brought it back because they said, you know what I'm saying, that I didn't realize that it was brown or whatever the case is. Or they caught some that literally had a smell that smelled like fucking old-ass elephant pussy. <laughs> I don't know. like, But they don't want somebody to get sick because they gave them this food for free and they number one can't give you no fucking food for free come on now like walmart giving us food for free y'all be silly like <laughs> so no they don't want to risk you getting sick and then you suing them so not only did they give you some free food but they gave you free food and you got sick off of it when they knew they wait they gave you free food that they knew was expired and you got sick off of it. And you know what that gives you a right to do? To sue them. They don't want to risk that. They don't want to risk that. So every year when it goes viral, you need to start thinking, do they want to risk that? But then you'll also see another video going viral of some homeless person stealing out of their trash. <laughs> so... Maybe if Walmart maybe catches it before it does that and they decide to give away free food or like maybe take it off the shelf a day before it expires, I don't know, then maybe they can donate it to the homeless or to the people that are starving. Everybody always says, there's so many people starving in the world. and That's crazy. Uh, my phone listening. What is that? Panera Bread. And the, look. And yep. the drinks yep. popped up. See? See? They listening. They listening. Anybody seen? Never mind. I'm just they saying. said get two months of free drinks. Mm. <laughs> mm. When you sign up with them. Y'all want that caffeine? Two months of free drinks. I'm going to jump into a song. The last <laughs> song. And we're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. This is... <laughs> The fuck? We're gonna wrap it up after this. <laughs> Shout out to my guy Lance Hitch and Gorilla Zoe. This next song, um, number one, I know it's gonna touch somebody. So I like to play this during um, you know, Breast Cancer Awareness Month because, you know, it's all about giving out good vibes, positive energy, but also being felt. So I know y'all gonna feel this one. Again, shout out to Lance Hitch and Gorilla So for such a dope ass song. Therapy helping. I've been thinking about increasing my sessions. Trying to find peace in these life's hard lessons. I ain't really me, goddammit, I'm stressing. I don't wanna spend this last $50 bill. Ain't thing getting tight, and I know I gotta stretch it. I'ma go to church in the morning, cause I know that I've been praying, and I'm way past due for my blessings. Lord, could you please bend a couple rules for me? This world been cruel to me. When I show love, folks make a fool of me. Excuse who I choose to be. Really need a 
a hug, but feeling like move for me. Cause all they are losing me. Who is it to trust? There for you usually. But I ain't in a mood to be. Ready on hospice, feeling like going John Q on these doctors. Trying to tell me that I've been running out of options. I can take a lot, but not this, Lord, stop it. Weak in the mind, and I know the devil watching. Thinking of suicide, but no, I gotta prosper. I act okay, think that I deserve an Oscar. Ain't no way I could do it without the father. Back to the basics. My brother died and I couldn't take it Forgive me for my sins, Lord, I still see faces Aiming for the attic, but I'm trapped in the base Baptized, is it justified on your end? Or do I still got an answer to it in the end? Either way it go, I gotta take it on the chin I've been praying for my wrongs, I'm just trying to make a man Baby, I, 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 I'm not okay Hold on, because I will someday I got a purpose and baby Ha, <laughs> ha,